Okay, so good afternoon to all of you. So our topic for today is the 12 principles of animation. I hope that uh, last, last meeting is you are already informed about a different um, or overview of the animation. Now we will going to tackle about the 12 principles of animation. Okay, so here is the screen share. Okay. So animation, the 12 principles of animation. I'm gonna turn the slideshow. Okay. So as you can see here, there is a motion of the object. You see a horse here and a rider. So th this is not just a pure object, but rather a picture with a moving transition. So this is photo taken by Edward Muybridge, which has died in 1904 and published in 1887 Philadelphia. So this image or other media file is copyrighted. Okay, so we will gonna tackle about the two main categories of the animation. We have the computer assisted animation, which includes 2D and 2 and 1 half D in betweening inking and virtual camera and managing data. We also have a computer generated animation which is full that comprises of low level techniques, precisely specified motion and high level techniques which describes the general motion. So upon um, browsing, this is the level, low level techniques which has shape interpolation in between. Eh? You have to know what you want. So there is a transition of the boy of the boy in movement. The high level techniques is it generates generates motion with set of rules of or constraints. It is physically based on motion. So the heritage of animation is we were going to talk about the history. There is a persistence of vision discovered about 1800s where the Sotrope or Wheel of Life has been um, popularized. And as you can see here, makikita ninyo that um, yung animation nila in way back in 1800s is through pictures and a moving wheel. Okay? So makikita rin din nyo dito sa image na to, um, there's a certain animation wherein it is manually. There is a drawing. So as you can see here, there is a movement. Each one has, each step has its own transition of movement. So heritage of animation, animation as an art form. The first animated character with personality is Felix the Cat by Otto Mesmer in 1920s. Forced to reckon with sound and Walt Disney. So Disney, alam niyo naman that uh, Mickey Mouse is not just popular in today's generation, but is also, okay, popular in the year 1920s pa. So upon the innovation, there is a storyboard to review story. As you can see here, it is just plain pencil sketch to review the motion. There is a multi-plane camera stand, color, not first to use the color, meaning it's black and white. And then the sound is Steamboat Willie. So parang nilalapatan lang nila yung sound dun sa animation. Walt Disney's 12 Principles of Animation. So this is Walt Disney. During the late 1920s through the 1930s, Walt Disney worked to improve the techniques of his anim studio animators. Disney set up drawing classes for his animators at the Chunard Art Institute in Los Angeles under instructor Don Graham. So through these lessons and interaction between Disney and his staff, a set of 12 principles was developed. 
These principles were used in Disney animated productions, including Snow White, Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, and Bambi. So we have here number one, Squatch and Stretch. So it's a living flesh distorts during motion. Exaggerated deformations which emphasize motion and impact. Although objects deform like rubber, they must maintain volume while being squashed and stretched. A bouncing ball will squash or elongate on impact and stretch vertically as it leaves the point of impact. So this is most well known as Squatch and stretch. So the examples here we have a uh, YouTube uh, link. Okay, number two is anticipation. So animation can occur before an action. Before you jump, you bend your knees, of course. By exaggerating this action, the animator can guide the viewer's eyes. The formula for most animation is anticipation, action, and reaction. Here is the anticipation and then the action action para gumabello ganun number 3 staging staging is the clear presentation of an idea the animator can use the camera viewpoint the framing of the shot and the position of the characters to create a feeling of strengthen understanding so this is it shows secondary actions so this is the poor staging and then the good staging. Ibig sabihin ng poor staging is yan. Because this one has been two-sided or one-sided only. Makikita niya there is a misinterpretation. Unlike here that you can see in front where um, the characters is at least uh, face. It faces in front. So, this is a poor staging kasi makikita ninyo, the face is not revealed. This one is a good staging. So, it, this one is a secondary actions wherein there is more meaning to life. Okay? Number four is straight ahead versus pose to pose. Okay? So, straight ahead animation means drawing the frames in sequence. This leads to in spontaneous motion. It works well with abstract animation. Post to post is more often used animation technique. It requires the animator to create strong pose keyframes first and add in between the frames. So post to post is used for animation that requires good acting where the poses and timing are important. So here is the post to post. Okay. So may kita niyo yung transition niya. From this one is from one second, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and so in between though in this frame is you can see a movement of the character. Number five, follow through and overlap. So follow through is the action that follows the main action. It is the opposite of anticipation. When a baseball bat hits the baseball, is that it does not stop abruptly. A boxer does not freeze at the moment a punch lands. So overlapping action means that all elements do not stop at the same time. Overlapping actions also means that a new action may begin before the earlier action is terminated. When hitting a baseball, the legs may begin moving to first base while the bat is finishing the swing. So here is the four facets of animation. We have the anticipation, the action, so settle and then follow through. Next is the slow in and slow out, also known as east in and east out. So most motion starts slowly, accelerates and then slows again before stopping. Imagine a car that went 40 miles per hour immediately when stepping on the accelerator and went to zero miles per hour when hitting the brake. So gravity has an effect on slow in and slow out. When a ball bounces, it increases in speed as it gets closer to the ground. It decreases in speed at the top of the arc. 
In many 3D applications, easing is created by setting the tension of a TCB line to 1.0 to get the opposition effect from a free frame. Tension is set to negative 1.0. So here is the slow out and slow in. Makita nyo dito yung movement ng legs, okay? So when you say slow out, is the movement of the legs is the right side will be at the front, then uh, another post, and then slow in is the movement of the right leg now is at the back. So slow in and slow out, there is a slow out, is out, and slow in is in. And then number seven is the arcs. Almost all natural motion is in some form of an arc. In 3D animation, a motion arc is usually created using a spline curve. Pivot points often define the arc. The pivot point for the thigh is the hip and the pivot point for the calf is the knee. And then the spline curve. So as you can see here, there is a movement from up and down in the piecewise polynomials with smooth connection. Number eight is secondary action. So when you say secondary, secondary actions are minor actions that occur due to a major action. Most people blink their eyes when they turn their head. Facial expressions are secondary actions. Secondary actions are also actions caused by the impact of another object. The movement of a ball that has been kicked is a secondary action. Number nine is timing. Timing is the amount of frames between poses. Comedians and actors work with their timing to get the maximum impact from their lines. Timing can imply weight. Light objects have much less resistance and usually move much quicker than heavy objects. Speed can imply emotion. A fast walk may mean happiness and a slow walk may mean depression. Next one is exaggeration. Exaggeration is used to increase the readability of emotions and actions. Animation is not a subtle medium. Individual exaggerated poses may look silly as it steals but add dramatic impact when viewed from a split second. So animators should be careful to use exaggeration to increase understanding of feeling. Be careful not to over exaggerate everything. So the triplets of belly build is this one. It has exaggeration, uh, emotion of the characters. Number 11 is the solid drawing. So in 3D animation, this would be equivalent to solid modeling. To get maximum feeling from the audience, animated characters must be drawn or modeled precisely. Proper drawing and modeling can reveal a character's weight, character, and emotion. Proper drawing and modeling are needed to give the character proper depth and balance. So here is a front view and three-fourth view. So as you can see here, you should, if you are draw, uh, drawing something, an object must have a front view. And when it moves into animation, it must have a three-fourth front at least. Number 12 is the appeal. So animated characters need to have a unique personality and have a wide range of emotion. Example, happy, excited, fearful, embarrassed, angry, scared, etc. Character flows are actually a good thing. Audiences can be sympathetic to characters that have a flow or two. Complex personalities and moral ethical dilemmas add to character appeal. So here is a character appeal wherein there is a happy character, smiling character. So the classic in the field, principles of tradition, traditional animation applied to 3D animation. Jan Lasseter, fired from Disney in 1984 for promoting computer animation, directed Toy Story in 1995, now the chief of a Disney animation. Okay, so that ends our slideshow. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed the background in 3D animation, how the characters 
have to be conceptualized in order for the movement to be precise and in order for the characters to have come to life in this form of movements and animation. So, if, for example, you have so many questions or you have uh, queries, just message me at the LMS and I will be glad to answer your queries regarding the topic for today. Okay, so if there are no more questions for today, I'll be heading now and then thank you for listening. Please keep yourself posted on the LMS for the announcement and please do, okay, please browse your LMS and make sure that you answered uh, on time your quizzes, your written work, and your uh, activities. Okay, so if you have any question, uh, your OLC here, yours truly, will be glad to accommodate you. Okay, have a good day and good afternoon.